So this is Carambola, better known as star fruit. It's very delicious, juicy and sweet, popular fruit, and uh, we've got at least two crops a year. This is sort of the end of mango season crop, and then we usually get another one in uh, around December. So anyway, we've got some that are ready to pick and some that are not. So this is a Fuang Tang Carambola. Has a little different color and a little different season than our other variety of Carambola that we grow. It's got a little orange to the flesh, but it can be completely white. Of course, they hang in clusters, very productive. Carambola is native to Sri Lanka but it has been grown in India and the southern provinces of China for many hundreds of years. Now Carambola is grown in tropical areas around the world where it is known by many names. A common nickname is star fruit since slicing the fruit results in star-shaped pieces. There are two basic types of Carambola, the large, sweet, mild type and the small, sour, richer flavored type. Most varieties grown in Florida are the large, sweet, mild type. In the 1880s, the first Carambola was introduced to Florida, but it was basically a curiosity. In 1935, seeds from superior varieties growing in Hawaii were planted in Florida. The best of these seedlings was named Golden Star which became the main grafted variety in Florida. In 1973, Fuang Tong was brought to the U.S. from Thailand by Dr. R.J. Knight. Today there are many sweet varieties grown in Florida. At Truly Tropical we grow Bell and Fuang Tong. Other tasty sweet varieties that do well in Florida include Arkin, B10, B-17, Kajang, Kerry, Lara, and Sri Kambangan. Tart varieties in Florida include Newcomb and Star King. The Carambola tree is quite ornamental. At least twice a year, thousands of pink to lavender flowers covered long drooping branches. Of course, it's also quite beautiful and impressive when the tree is covered with fruit. Commercial growers sometimes train young branches on V-shaped trellises which support the branches and make the fruit easier to pick. Carambola trees grow in a wide range of soils and climates. Mature trees can actually withstand temperatures to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. In excessively wet conditions, trees can develop root rot. Often plants need more iron, zinc, and manganese. It's possible to grow trees from seed, but most Carambola trees in Florida are grafted. Trees grown from seed have a very vigorous upright growth habit, can take several years to fruit, and often produce inferior fruit. In contrast, grafted trees often produce fruit while still in three gallon containers. In Florida, Carambola normally has two crops each year, one in late July and August, and a second crop in November and December. Big wind events like hurricanes can cause trees to flower in other months. Strong winds actually initiate a bloom cycle. Some growers and homeowners mimic wind stress for carambolas by bending young branches so that their trees will produce more than two crops each year. So what to look for when you're picking Carambola? They do come in different colors, so know the color that it's supposed to be and pick things that are approaching that color. This is typical of a bell uh, Carambola, so that was ready to pick. This one also. It's 
So there's a lot of fruit on the tree and the little green ones, of course, you leave for another day. They seem to size up and mature very quickly. But when the, the ribs start losing their green and the fruit is plump, you just pick it off the tree and gently pull uh, so you don't get the, its neighbor off the tree at the same time. They have little small stems, so if you just pull on them, they will uh, just come right off. So here's some Fuang Tong that I've picked, and I'm just going to go see if I can find a, another one inside of the tree. not quite to the same level of ripeness, but it's something that happens to Fuang Tong often. You see the waviness of the ribs. So that, that it's just very different from our other variety, which, you know, which has only straight ribs. This Fuang Tong has both kinds, some straight and some, sometimes these waves are very pronounced. It's sort of a fun little fruit, you can see bit there. The fruit of sweet varieties is fiberless, sweet, has a subtle citrusy flavor and a pleasant aroma. Small brown seeds in the center of the fruits are edible. They're somewhat similar to hulled sunflower seeds. Carambola should be handled gently since its thin skin is easily damaged. The fruit is eaten fresh, corn on the cob style or sliced, juiced, used in fruit salads or as a garnish, and used in jellies, preserves, and tarts. Underripe sweet varieties and the fruit of sour varieties are often used in similar applications to the sweet fruit, usually with added sugar. Carambola is very nutritious. It's a great source of vitamin C, potassium, and antioxidants. It's a diuretic and has a reputation for being a remedy for many illnesses. Because the fruit, especially the tart varieties, contain significant amounts of oxalic acid, people with kidney problems should check with their doctors before eating it. Sweet and juicy.